Camino in Marysville. That's where he lives. So the day after I was there, and the cleanup crews were amazing. I stopped at the one and only place that didn't look like it was destroyed, and that was the post office. Hardware store. Hardware, hardware no, store. the little brick building. Yeah, yeah that's the post, post office. office. Hardware store, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All I know is the post office was intact. It's like, how did you survive? And people were all over the place. My uncle's home, people were volunteering to clean up the debris. Marysville was not neglected. You have a few people who did not hear what they needed to hear, and they were upset. But I do, and I do understand because I, we lost our home to a flood in 1964 when Blackston's Mill was flooded, and my father's house was flooded again in 97. So the stress and trauma that people go through during this time is horrific, and they feel more is done and less is accomplished than sometimes there is. But I personally witnessed people up there helping. And, and uh, not only that, my uncle's house was totally done from his neighbors and volunteers in a week. He had damage, but he didn't have the damage others had. And thank God, but he was disabled with cancer and no eyes. So he couldn't. And I think everybody agreed that the school in Henryville got hit. That's right. So that's where the press was. That's right. That's right. TV lights and everything like that. Yes, ma'am. I was going to say, no disrespect to you, but I think the library is going to close soon. And I'm yeah, I'm going to close. Yeah, I've got another meeting. I've got to write that her husband speak here. Thank you. I appreciate it.